Yes guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. It's Urbex in Yorkshire Paranormal. Something a little bit different for you today guys, so uh, we're not going to be doing a paranormal, we're going to be doing... I'd say an explore slash vlog, but it's going on Urbex in Yorkshire Paranormal. Anyway, um, I have come to Gothland, so... For anyone who doesn't know where Gorfund is, it's in Whitby, up in, where's Whitby, North Yorkshire? Yeah, North, North Yorkshire. Um, big massive Gorfund car parks behind me, so we've got North Yorkshire Moors National Park Authority, uh, welcome to Gorfund car park, no overnight camping. Um, yeah, does anyone remember a TV show called Heartbeat? Heartbeat, why does a love kiss stay in my memory? Anyway, that's enough singing. So yeah, we're in the village of Heartbeat, and if anyone remembers Nick Rowan, Phil Bellamy, Sergeant Blakedon, um, Scripps, David, crazy, crazy place. First time I've ever been here, so we're going to get some drone footage, we're going to have a bit of a walk around village, starting off up at shops, up at the top where phone boxes. Um, I'm going to have a good look round, I'm here with uh, West Audit Report, and an independent observer, so I'll pick it back up in a second. So, we're just approaching the shops. Anyone recognises this place? The old Heartbeat TV show. I'm going to give you a little bit of information for the people who don't know anything um, about Heartbeat, so just give us a second. So here we are guys, got a little bit of information for you. So Heartbeat is a British police uh, procedural period drama series based upon the Constable series of novels written by Nicholas Rea and produced by Yorkshire Television until it was merged by ITV, then by ITV Studios from 1992 to 2010. Uh, the series is set in the North Riding of Yorkshire during the 60s um, and takes place in a real life fictional locations. Uh, most episodes focus on separate stories, sometimes intersect with one another. Some episodes focus on single major incidents. Um, so it was created by Johnny, Johnny Bryn, Keith Richardson, and Jerry Mill. Uh, but 18 series is guys 18 is quite a bit 18 18 yeah um <clears throat> total of 372 episodes um so the program initially starred nick berry obviously if you're heartbeat lover you'll know who that guy is um obviously there's lots of other names but nick berry is one of the most well known um 
Heartbeat proved popular from the beginning when the early series consistently drew over 10 million viewers, uh, achieving a peak audience of around 13.82 million in 2001. Um, its, su its success eventually led to a spin-off series titled The Royal, as well as special episodes and free documentaries in June 2010. ITV announced the cancellation of Heartbeat after its 18th series following discussions on its future. So, um, I would just say to War, I wonder if it's ever going to make a comeback. I mean, I'd like it if it did, so let's, let's just go for a little walk. Let's walk up here and get some shops filled and dirt films. Agents Field stores, grocers. Aiden's Field stores. So we've got we've got some uh, Do we have any Heartbeat merch? Characters from Heartbeat, so we've got some got a little bit of merch. Some cups. Small sixties gear, cameras and all that jazz. Looks a bit faded, but sunshine. Oh wow, yeah, look at this, some of old foods look. Look, there's a police Accident sign. Small tins of uh, food. Fairy washing up liquid. There's a jukebox. Ashfordley area. Telephone and directory section. So yeah, that's what the fictional, uh, fictional name were called, Ashfordley. Oh, well, you can buy crystals here, chakras and stuff. Um, We've got heartbeat merchant here. I'm going and uh, I'm going and ask them. Pick it back up in a minute. Yeah, I've just been in, guys. There's no heartbeat merch. Really? Right, I'm going to pick it back up in a second, guys. Guys, we're up in the sky. And I've taken it up from outside the shops uh, where we just were. You can see West Audit Report down there. He's flying his drone. So let, let's get it nice and high. <clears throat> Go check this place out. Lots of fields. I mean, this would be a beautiful place to live, but I was saying earlier on. Uh, but it'd be no good for me because there's no McDonald's or KFCs or Burger Kings. Right, so if we go, I'm just going to put it in sports mode so I can speed up. There we go. And if we go all the way down here, I'm going to take you to the Scripps Auto Centre garage where it'd be a funeral service, Scripps. Just about there we go. So let's get. A, well, I've got a I've got a wonderful line of sight. There we go. Look, Scripps Funeral Directors, Aidens Field Garage. 
I mean, if we look down there, looks like some kind of hotel. Quite a long garage, isn't it? I wonder if it goes all the way to the back. Right, so let's spin it round and just over the just over there you can actually see the train station. Yep, that's Gawfland train station. I and mean, then this is the fictional Aiden's field. So, um, yeah, how do you think that turns in? Uh, what do you reckon? Uh, anyway. <coughs> it's like they're building an house or something like that. So there we go guys, that's Max Aidensfield. altitude reached. AKA Gofland, aka Heartbeat. We'll see you back on the ground. Right guys, we're back down on the ground. So that we're a little aerial tour of Heartbeat. Oh we even got a defibrillator out here. Oh god. It's all just full of mud round here. Right, so this is the other one we didn't check out. This is Aidens Field Post Office. Eh? So we've got some old stuff in here, look. Oh, it's Gina. Aidens Field Heartbeat. Gina, Scripps, we've got Bellamy, we've got David. Yeah. Oh, it'd be lovely to live up here, wouldn't it? Oh. Not really in here, is there? Post office as well, that's brilliant. Just post office, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Tough titty, isn't it? Blaketon's not going to come to his rescue. What? what? Right, what we're going to do is I'm going to stop Yeah, we'll stop rolling Pick it back up when we're outside Scripps' garage uh, oh. Funeral services Village store and gift centre Oh look, we've got a picture of David Oh look, Sergeant Miller 
PC Rob Walker, PC Young. And I remember them guys. Hard beat. Oh, that we're out here, wasn't it? Look, we've got Claude Greengrass, got David, got Gina. She was a bit of all right. That's cool here, I like it. Bloody hell, look at that old till. So we've got some Heartbeat merch. Hats. Shame it's shut really, we could have gone in and had a look. Anyway, pick it back up guys. Yes guys, so we're a little bit further up road at Scripps Funeral Services and we've just bumped into a couple of subscribers. Turned round and said, oh, you ordered in Yorkshire? I said, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he said I recognise your voice. So, I don't think these are in service anymore. I told him this video will be going on uh, Urbex in Yorkshire anyway, so he can come and check it out. Hiya love Just making a little video you don't mind do you? Hey? I'm just making a little video you don't mind do you? I would have asked but I didn't say anyone I want to make sure I don't film you Look at this guys All this memorabilia So if you want any good merch and that yeah, definitely get yourself up to Scripps um, Funeral Services up in Aidensfield. Well, it's Govland, but you know what I mean. A lot of Aidensfield arms, aren't they? We've got some of the old um, milling machines at the back there for doing like uh, pistons and cylinder heads, milling them out. And it looks pretty old because it's still imperial measurements. Before. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Old workbenches, originals. Yeah, that's a mini cylinder head. And that looks like a, a mini start motor. Wow. Possibly a mini alternator. Well. I'll pick it back up when I'm outside. Right, so back outside, guys. Uh, Scripps Funeral Services, Aidensfield Garage, crazy. I bet it's beautiful up here in summer. Be nice and warm. We've got the Gofland Hotel. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk down to the train station now. So uh, apparently you can get in. You can't drive down anymore because bridge is broken. Uh, but you can get in it. So I'll see you down there. So we're just we're a little bit further down the train station now. We've got some lovely little sheep uh, got any mint sauce war? <laughs> mint sauce? yeah no. we have a nice little dinner here mate ah oh, for only young ones these you know they look quite they look, they look quite tame as well tame I wonder how close they'll let me get to them. Not very. Oh, come back. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Go on, run. Go on, lads.
Go chase the sheep, but Right, so the car park's closed because apparently the bridge is broken. Don't look broken to me. station shop got a booking office station house I wonder if anyone lives in there Oh, we can get close to the trains. Look at this old uh, LNER. North Eastern Railway. I reckon some of these might be open, you know. Huh? The line's not being used at the moment, I don't think. It's all rusted over, it all looks pretty similar. I don't think all it's been up here in a while. No one's moved on it, they've got an oil tanker out back there. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Pretty cool. Right, so I've just walked back down. Let's check this side out. Oh, look. Welcome to Gorfland. There's a gate open here. Oh, yeah, we can get on the platform. What? Yeah, man. Is there? Yeah, there's people in there doing paperwork and stuff, so I've just been up on the bridge and had a, a gander's down line. Oh, it's a good job I didn't... Uh, Are you coming over? I've just been in the middle. I've Right. Well, apparently, there's people in these carriages doing paperwork. Crazy. Huh. Anyway, at least you get a little bit of a closer look at them. Hmm.
Gofland Learning Coach. Explore Gofland Station. Pickering is a historic market town. Let's check some more of these out. We know it's summer. It's a little bit too uh, cold to be doing it now. Oh yeah, look. Somebody in there. Somebody in there doing purple work. Right, well I suppose we better make his way back up to central town, uh, central village. And then we'll be wrapping it up. Right guys, so this is the village hall, which I'm just getting a quick video of. Gonna have to wipe my trainers down and my car. Absolutely filthy. So there's not really much in here. Empty. But so I've been a bit in Yorkshire. This has been Aidens Field, aka Heartbeat. If you enjoyed the video, guys, you know what to do. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Give us a massive thumbs up. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.